Uh, sorry about sorry about that. Now we're going to be talking about uh, equation of motion. I've talked about types of motion. Probably in our next class, we're going to go deep. Yes, and we're going to be touching the motions. Possible. Divine, when you see your A, your A, A is related to what? Acceleration. Acceleration. Your V is what? Is velocity. So we have initial velocity and this will be what final you have your t t is what time time taking and these are the major quantity when you come about you look at your your slide, we have displacement, distance, velocity, acceleration, time, and speed. Yeah, speed. Speed is also the same thing as uh, velocity. But the speed is a scalar quantity, while velocity is what? It's a vector quantity. Speed is divided as what? Distance all over time. Speed is what? Excuse me. Speed is. Speed is distance all about what time? Why velocity is what? Is what displacement over what? Over time. Can you see the difference? The difference between speed and velocity. Distance, the speed is what? Distance all over time. Velocity is what displacement all over time. Speed and velocity, they are the same, but just of the quantity that it carries. Speed is also what, say what? It's a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity, like I divine, is what? Uh, something that has magnitude or no direction. But vector quantity are something that have what? A magnitude and both direction. When you're saying, okay, I'm going uh, 20 kilometer northeast. Get. Not is therefore where, wherever I'm going, as where I'm a specific for purpose, just like when you're in a plane. You no, know? most of the pilot they don't, they, you know, plane does not really have a route, they follow bearing, and bearing is what something that have displacement. Okay, therefore, now let's go to our main topic today equation of what equation of motion. I think the first one is what velocity because what u plus a t velocity is what is u u plus a t that is the first equation of motion you have to know this because we are going to be treating some questions that are related to this please take note of this equation of motion this velocity is what v a is what is a final of velocity U here is what is initial velocity. And anytime you find out that a motion starts from rest, the initial velocity is what is always what zero. Your A is acceleration. No, but sometimes it can be G. A and G. A is G is acceleration due to what? Acceleration due to gravity. Gravity. In our class, probably next two weeks we'll be talking about this because this is not always constant. You get it? no the acceleration due to gravity on the earth is different from the one on the moon. Even the acceleration due to gravity as in part of a head, the one in Nigeria might likely be different from the one in, in US. But A is a is a linear acceleration. No, note your first equation of motion 
is B U plus A C. And I think this one is derived. Mind you know your your A C as a, acceleration, the variation of acceleration is what is change in velocity all over what? All over time. For you to remember this first equation. Just know that your acceleration is what change in velocity all over time. And when you now want to make V the subject formula, what will you do in your mathematics? You cost multiply. Get A times T is what? A T. One times V. One times V minus V is what? V minus. Am I right? Now, make V the subject formula. You're going to have V equals what? Because when this one comes here, when this one comes here, it's going to become plus. You're going to have U plus what? AT. And that's why they derive this first equation of motion. Hope I'm not too fast. You don't need to cram it. Just understand your acceleration. No, our acceleration is what is changing velocity all over time. And for you to know change, you must know from change must be from fine from initial. You subtract your final from your initial. That's how you know the change. I tell you that what is the change between 10? What is different between 10 and 2? Different between 10 and 2 is 10 minus 2, which is what 8. The same thing as change. Therefore, when we say change, is what your initial final velocity minus initial all over t. That is your acceleration. Therefore, when you now make b this. Very important. I'm going to give you is v square because what u square was what ax v square plus u square plus two as where your v is what initial velocity square your u is what. Uh, no, final velocity square, your u is initial velocity square, two plus acceleration plus what? Plus distance. Sometimes it can be what? V square equals to what? U square plus 2GX. I told you A and G. Acceleration due to graffiti. Again, that is the second law of motion. Please take note. Second equation of motion, rather. Right and if last but not least is what? Your S. S goes what? When you make, you want to make like now, from this now, you can make your S the subject formula. If you want to make S the subject formula, what will you do? It's going to what? This will be B square. Minus u square over what? 2as. And you're going to have a. Okay. I know you don't need to go into this. So I do not trouble us. Let us go into this. Just, let's just take note of this s equals what? ut plus half at square. This one is also important. Yeah. Because what you just do is that your S, remember that your S is what? Uh, v, V is what? Uh, v is what? Distance all about T. Well, for anywhere you see your V in this, you can make uh, we're going to have a we got to we're going to make this cell formula good I'll give you a definition of this when you put your v here your square and then that will give you this uh, formula or well, the first one is v is equal to what u plus a t the first formula second one is what v square equal to u square plus two as or v square equals to u square plus 2gs, or that is the third one is what s equals to u3 plus half 80 square. 
please take note of this equation because in our next question, we're going to change some, change some question now that we'll be needing these equations. Huh? Well, the first one is what? V is equal to U, U plus AT. The second one is what, what? V squared is equal to U squared plus 2AS. And this one, S is equal to U T plus AT squared. Half AT squared. Very, very important. Now, let's go to the questions. The first question is what? The bus starts from rest and travel at a uniform acceleration. Good. Upwards. When you see questions like this in jam, just be denoting them. So that to make your work to be faster. Because every question, every question might likely demand probably less than one minute. So, well, a bus starts from rest. Wait, well, remember you guys hear that a bus starts from rest. Your you your, your use what? Is what? Is zero. And acceleration of what two meters per second. Or, or what? T25 seconds. Now, what's the question? What is the distance? Travel? What is the distance travel? Now, which of the equation are we going to use? I think this is the best equation because you are looking for what? X. So the equation of motion, we have X got UT plus half AT square. Now, our U is what? Is zero. Our T is what? Is 25 seconds. What's our A? Our A meter per second squared. And from the question, you'll be able to derive so the kind of for every question that is related to equation of motion, you will be able to identify the parameter given. In this parameter, you are giving you your U is what? Is zero because it said it starts from what? It both start from rest. And since they've given you, now they gave you also T, they gave you A. Therefore, in your parameter, you cannot use the first one, equation of motion. You cannot use the second one, equation of motion. But this third one has what you need because distance is is in the, is in the hope you get that. So now, you just put, all those parameters in the equation, or your S, which what, what we are looking for, your U is what is zero, zero times what C plus what half A is two times what times twenty five. Am I right? Good. Now zero times three is zero plus half of course half that is plus twenty five. So your S is what. 25 meter. No way to wait, wait. I think I'm wrong. Now, wait. We have 25 square. Sorry. What is the square root of 25? This is what? 5. This will give us uh, 625. Sorry. C is two five meter. I omitted the square, forgotten that T square we have half eighty square. The two cancel two. The twenty five square will give you sixty two five sixty two five meter. That is the answer. Now for that train, a train that starts from rest and travel at a uniform acceleration of two meter per second square for twenty five seconds, it travel a distance of what six two five meter. Just know your equation, input the data, data you are giving, and do your mathematical solving. Please don't make mistake I made. Your T square is 25 square, and since square is 625, this is 0 plus 625 will give you 6 to 5 meter. Good. Now, the second question a train. A train with an initial velocity of 20 meter per second is subjected to a uniform acceleration of two meter per second square. The time required to bring the train to a complete halt is what? 
Now, in this one, you are giving your initial velocity, your U. Your U is what? It's 20 meter per seconds. Acceleration is what? It's two meter per second square. We are told to look for T. Now, which of the equation of motion will suit this, yeah, this uh, acceleration, the, the question? So if you look at it very well, you are giving you initial velocity, you get, and it said it was subjected to uniform acceleration. So but your V, your final velocity, is what? It is zero. Hope you get that. So for the first equation of motion is what we are going to apply today because it has both initial, it has acceleration. You have your V, which is what? V equals to what? U plus AT. Now, if you are looking for, since you are looking for T, you make T the subject formula. You have to be able to understand your mathematics of making a particular parameter a subject of the formula so that for you to solve it, it will be easier for you. If we want to make T, the, you're going to have V minus U, Abby, over what? Over A equals to T. Am I right? Because here, V equals to U, U plus AT. When v, U comes there, it's going to be minus. And we're going to have V minus U equals to AT. Now, for you to divide two by A, that's why you got this. And since we have known our U to be what? We have V minus what? Minus 20. We have a, sorry. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, please don't forget, they said it's subjected to a uniform deceleration. Uh -huh. Because I was looking for a minus in the acceleration. Deceleration, when you have your deceleration in your question, your acceleration will be minus. Deceleration is opposite of acceleration. When you are going like this, you are accelerating. When you are coming like this, you are decelerating. Yes, I forgot to define that. Acceleration and deceleration. Acceleration is moving upward. Deceleration is coming down. And that's why it's only when you are moving it with a car, in a car, with a car, by the time you apply your brake, you are decelerating. And that's why the car, car will go towards the initial, the final velocity of the car will be, what, will be zero. But for now, our AA is minus two. So we have V minus what? 20 all over what? Minus two equals to what? T. You get that. The V minus, since our V is zero, we are, we are, to, we are going to have minus two. 20. All about what? Minus two equals to t. What is our t? Our t will be what? 10. Why? Meter. Meter 10 seconds. Why? Because minus will divide minus. Hope you understand the mathematics. Turn again, said it initial velocity of 20 per seconds is subject to a uniform deceleration. This we get the questions of what? Deceleration. Because as I wanted to start solving, that's one of those things that must guide you as a student. When you want to look at, I'm so, because I look at it, I said, I'm supposed to end in positive. My time must not be negative. How am I going to remove this minus? And now remember, okay, let me look at the question. I now find out that my parameter was wrong because I didn't take note of cognizance of this deceleration. That's why this one is minus. In your question, they will not put minus. But it's only you that knows that this the deceleration your deceleration must give you a negative value of acceleration not that it's very very important that's why i love this question it's a jam question i think 2020 20, 2022 question that's where we derive this question from our past question will still be out we're going to introduce our past question to you so that as we are also teaching you here we'll be making references to our past questions well with that we knew that okay if you use this first equation of motion we now Make T the subject formula. Okay. I, I saw I saw a, a question. They said, is acceleration and deceleration the same? Acceleration and deceleration, they, they are the same. 
But when you are accelerating, like I said, the value will be increasing. Just like your car, or when you are moving, you get your, your car, when you accelerate, your car will be moving. But the moment you want to lower a car, probably you are on, on 100, speed of 100, you want to lower a car, you are decelerating. Do you get that? No, that is different between deceleration and acceleration. Both of them are value of acceleration, just like your acceleration due to gravity. You get, but the best way to, to it's just like, hey, we'll call, the other word for deceleration is retardation. Mind you, yes, retardation. Sometimes you can you, you can see retardation in your question. When you are, you are, you are retardating, you are, you are lowering the value. And in mathematics, the more you lower the value, is you're going to have a negative sign. In your graph, when you have your graph, I don't know if I still have time. You have your graph for acceleration. Probably like this. You know? A and T. Yeah. You know, in part of a graph, this is a positive value. But when you have something like this, you are accelerating. You get, but the value of it might not change because. Your value of acceleration can be maybe probably here is one, uh, zero, one, two, three. It's at this point, it's three. You get, but probably you are the graph is telling you like this. This place can also be three, zero, one, and three. You get, it's decelerating at a negative value. If you want to plot a graph of acceleration and deceleration, this will give you a graph of deceleration. Why this one will give you a graph of acceleration? They are both the same value. They are both having the same potentials. But the value, the same, the negativity and positive of the value depend on the nature. If it is acceleration and deceleration, they can ask you retardation too. Don't please don't forget. Another name for deceleration is retardation. Oh, I think I've answered your question. Any other question you can send us a test. We are with you. Now. I think I'll be able to solve the second question. The last question here is, uh, which is going to be projected, is this one is more, is more technical. Uh, it's more technical. We have, if a car starts from rest, I love that. Please, anytime you see rest, be denoting. A car, which your, your U what? Your U will be what? Zero. U will be what? Zero. And moves with a uniform acceleration of 10 meter per second square. 10 meter a second square for 10 seconds. T is what? 10 seconds. This distance, it covers in the last one second of its motion. Hmm. This question is funny. For, for, for you to get the distance covered in the last one second of this motion, is you have to first look for the tenth distance covered in 10 seconds. And this class, distance covered in the ninth seconds. We're going to have a tenth and a T at what? T at night. Nine seconds. You get that for the question. Quickly, because I have less than five minutes more. Now, what is distance cover? We have to use what second equation, third equation motion. S is got what U T plus half a T square. Don't forget for S ten. Well, your U is zero. This one will go. So well, your S ten is what half times what A ten times what ten square. Well, we have this one is five five. This will give you what. 500 meter. Am I right? 5 divided by, divided by 10 is 5. 10 square is 100. 5 times 10, 100 is 5 meter. That is the distance cover in 10 seconds. Now, the distance cover in 9 seconds is going to what? This one will go. We all know. We're going to have A, T, A is 2. 10, yeah. 10 times 10. Times nine square. Then we have five, 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 I mean. Nine square is what? It's one. Am I right? It's one times five is what? 
that will give us 405. 405. 405. Therefore, the distance covers in nine seconds is what? It's 405. Now, for you to now get the distance covers in the last one seconds, I told you it's going to be what? S10 minus what? S9. We give you the last 10 seconds. That's S1. What's our S10? Our S10 is 500. Our S9 is what? 405. Which is what? 90 watts. 95, am I right? Meter. Let me explain. The question says, if a car starts from rest, move the information of 10 meter for 10 seconds. This is it covers in the last one second of its motion. So for you to get for the last one second, you must first look for the distance cover in the 10 seconds and get a distance cover in the ninth seconds. They will not subtract it to give you the distance cover in the last one question, seconds, the last of this motion. Because the last seconds of the motion is between ninth and tenth. Now, for you to get that, you look for your look for you look uh, you use your equation of motion, which is s to ut plus average to square. Since the initial velocity is zero, please this one will go because zero times t is gone. So we're going to have s ten to what half a t square. Our a, a is what 10. Our t is 10 square. 2 divided by 10 give you 5. 10 square is 100. 5 times 100 is what? 500 meters. That is the distance cover in the 10 seconds. Now, this distance cover in the 9 seconds is what? Half divided by 10 times 9 square. Our five, our half divided by 10 is 5. 9 square is 81. 5 times 81 is what? 405. But the, the distance cover in this 10, 9 seconds is 405. Now, the, the distance now cover in the last one second is what? 500 minus 405 will give what? 95 meter. And that is the answer. Please and please. Physics is more practicing. You have to practice more questions. Make sure you look at related questions for equation of motion. Probably in our next class, we're going to be touching, in our revision class, we'll be touching some of the questions that are related to equation of motion. I think you enjoyed this class. God bless you. See you uh, probably tomorrow. And that person will take you physics tomorrow. Uh, it's one of the levels to end of the of Lagos. God bless you.